One of the major tutorials in testing is to find defects. Thus, finding defects as a part of testing is very important and for a tester it becomes very crucial to find a good number of defects. But just not finding will help a tester but also the writing of the defect report plays a vital role because this report will be used by other stakeholders to understand the problem in the product and also help managers in order to understand that what exactly my test cases are able to do and how efficient the testing was. So as you see, there are a lot of people who are dependent on the way you write your defect report is very important to write the same. Thus, today we will be understanding in more detail that how to write the defect report. and greetings for the day welcome back to another episode of testing in nutshell this is Nish Kumar saying and today we will be talking about logging a defect and defect management in ALM so in this tutorial we are going to explore more that what are the details which you're going to fill up and how you can manage them in the best way in order to help other stakeholders understand the same with help of ALM so let's get started and understand more about the same in this tutorial in previous tutorials, we have understood about executing a test and understanding how we can actually log the actual results and mark a step as pass or fail and also report a simple way that how we can report a defect. But yes, in this tutorial, we'll be understanding in more detail about the defects tab and different functionalities of the same. So let's move to the defects tab here. If you remember, in the previous test uh, tutorial, we have executed a particular test where the test actually failed. And now here we have one defect listed in the database. So if you see the first defect has all the details listed here. Defects is a module in ALM which is used to manage the defects and organize and find the details of any particular defect whereas all the details of a defect can be seen directly on the dashboard. Defect is a module which does not have a root folder or a tree required to manage the defects. Remember team that each module of uh, ALM is licensed independently. So if you have anything, you can actually pay for it in order to get the license for that. The next thing important here is to explore that what a defect tab can do or this module can do. You can actually raise a defect from anywhere. You remember in requirement we were supposed to uh, understand that how exactly a defect can be raised from there. A defect can be raised even from test plan, it can be raised from a test lab and even from a defect tab. So defect is an option. Raising a defect is an option in ALM which can be done from any of the window or multiple windows. Now if you want you can raise a defect right from here as well and submit the details in order to submit a defect. Then you find all the relevant details related to it and if you scroll through you would find all the references for example the detected in which cycle, detected in which release, it's all the benefit of having a linkage because we linked a test lab folder to that particular release. If I just have to go back and look into the details, go to the folder, you would see that it is linked to the cycle. So yes, you get that information. Now what else we can include as a part of new defect is what we want to understand in this tutorial. So here, if you see, we have got a lot of fields which can be incorporated when raised reporting a defect. Of course, the very first thing is the summary, which you have to define a simple description. What is the defect is all about? Detected by, detected on, and a severity for that. What kind of severity does the defect hold? You can define that. Actual fix time will be updated once the defect has been resolved. And there's another counterpart of it, which is called as uh, expected estimated fix time. So estimated fixed time will be uh, reported by the developer and finally actual fixed time will also be reported by the developer. Assigned to, so you can follow your defect tracking life cycle. Once it is assigned to somebody, it will be mentioned with the developer name here that to whom it is assigned. So other stakeholders account will also be here. Detected in cycle, detected in version, detected in release, detected in environment, closing date, expected closing date, planned closing version, all these information will be found here with more details. So you can see all the names here, including the priority, severity, status of the defect can be moved from new, open, rejected, reopen, fixed, closed. So all the information lies here. It just depends on what you all have to provide. 
including the reproducibility of uh, the defect, whether it can be reproducible or not, which release it is found in and which cycle subject. If you have any subject like the test, remember that root folder from the test plan, you can link it to a test as well. Similarly, if you want, a defect can be further linked to a particular requirement. How to do that? You just have to go to the detail of that which has the provision to link to a particular requirement. If you don't find it here, because generally you find it in the requirement details, let's go to the details and uh, do we see that here? If you don't see that here, linked entities, you see the defects and others. So you can click on the link to the requirement. So go for by ID or select. If you remember the ID of the requirement, you can feed in the ID. If you don't remember the ID, click on select and go to that requirement, which it is linked to. So we know that it is linked to requirement login and say OK and press OK to link that. Now just to cross check, let's go back to requirement tab and refresh it once again and pick up the login requirement here and click on requirement details or requirement detail view. Now you will see two tabs. One is the test coverage, which is associated with this and the link defect, which is associated with this. So it, again, it is a two way window. That means you can link a requirement to defect or defect to requirement. Now you see another option here that is the URL. What is the URL? URL is the option. It is linked to a particular defect. So defect is a link to that. So that's why then a link symbol is activated in front of this. So any entity will show you what kind of defect or what kind of details are associated with it. And also if you come to the tabs, you will see an icon blue color indication dot stating that it has some information for you to view. So yes, whatever you feel here with any particular entity, it will be highlighted in the tabs. So that's about the defects. So defects can be raised from any window. You can see the linked entities related to it at the bottom as well, the test which it is associated to and the requirement which it is associated with. If you want, you can export it, you can save it or you can also remove the linkage by using this button. So yes, all the options are quite some, some of the options are quite common at any point of time. If you want to set an alert for any of the requirement, then you can do by clicking on the bell icon. Okay, so that's from the defects understanding of the ALM. Well, I think that tutorial helped you to understand how exactly defect reports can be written in a very professional manner and also helpful for many others to understand the same. But yes, when it comes to ALM, there are a lot of fields which can also be customized because the tool comes with the customization option and you can have your own set of values, even your own set of fields to be updated during the defect reporting. So yes, any organization can pretty well work on determining that what kind of fields are required to be there when logging a defect or probably in the end of the uh, defect report. So that's more important to understand and I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, learned something really great today. So that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. We will be having more interesting reporting part in ALM coming soon. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.